Good afternoon, the previous video about the difference in color rendering players had to delete, because I found errors in the measurements. I do not want to mislead people, and preparing a new measurement requires time. So I decided to make this video for now, I think this topic will be of interest to many people. Recently I saw a video advertising a video processor based on a computer with video card and mad VR utility. The cost of this set for quality video watching is about $8,000. I was wondering if mad VR could really make such a leap in upscaling quality. I decided to test mad VR on my RTX 3050 graphics card and compare the upscale quality from 1080p to 4K with mad VR and Nvidia Shield TV in two modes. Normal upscale called enhanced in the menu. And AI upscale in low mode. And also check the difference in color interpolation by different algorithms when upscaling only color from a 420 to 444 file is done. To start with a few words about color interpolation when displaying it on the screen. As we know, the video files are encoded in color format 420. This means that if the original file resolution is 3840 by 2160, the red and blue channel color resolution will be 1920 by 1080, four times less. The green channel is mostly the luminance channel, so the resolution of the green channel is almost equal to the resolution of the luminance channel. Let's start, Mad VR is able to use many color interpolation algorithms, but we will output in nearest neighbor. Bilinear. Cubic. And NGU modes, that's enough, the tests will be done for 4K video. 1080p video has a color resolution of only 960 by 540, very small. But since most people have already moved to 4K TV, for 1080p source we will test the full upscale mode. I have done tests on several files. This is a test image with different objects and very good quality, they have high initial sharpness, and a couple of real movies. Watch and compare, at 300%. It's the nearest neighbor algorithm, the worst of the algorithms, it's believed. It creates a sharp and crisp image, but it has a defect called aliasing. Such as here, see, like a staircase of squares of color. We will see this defect only on the border of the object, and the image should contain a lot of red or blue. On the green, this defect is absent. We see that in this test image, it is really visible. Now turn on the bilinear algorithm, and the image becomes nice, without visible defects, but in fact this algorithm blurs the image. It creates blurred edges. Now turn on cubic, we see a little clearer edges, but torn. Let's turn on NGU mode, the most powerful algorithm, the edges are nice and smooth. Let's go back to 150%, once again we compare the nearest neighbor, bilinear, cubic, and NGU. The difference is visually impossible to see, even staring at the screen, or rather you can see a little. The only one who messed up the image a little is the nearest neighbor method. But you have to look hard, you don't watch TV that way. Shield TV does color interpolation a little better than bilinear mode. But once again at 100% scale you can no longer see the difference even at arm's length from the screen. Now let's move on to the film, this is Lucy. One of the most image quality, very high definition images. Let's look at 100% scale as we watch movies, even approaching the screen at a distance of 20 centimeters I can't see the difference between all the interpolation methods. And at 200% you can see a little bit of difference, the nearest neighbor is the lowest quality, but even it gives defect only on red objects in the frame. And already the bilinear one gives excellent quality and further complication of algorithms gives absolutely no effect. And that Shield TV, don't look at the difference in brightness and saturation of the image, it's because Madver is trying to compress the range by converting HDR to SDR. You can see that his image is at least equal to the bilinear in quality. Conclusions 
the less red and blue in the image, and bright enough and saturated, the less difference between the methods. Theoretically you will be able to notice defects only on a very rare number of frames and only with the nearest neighbor method. And you need to stand close to the TV. The difference between the others is so small that it is impossible to see it even very close looking. Therefore we conclude that using methods better than bilinear to interpolate color can be considered pointless and do not give a visible effect, of course it concerns only watching movies in 4K. Now let's move on to upscaling, here the process is more complicated, you need to interpolate the color and additionally create new pixels in the brightness channel. In fact from one pixel to make four, the task is much more difficult. Let's see what MadVR has to offer us. Here we also use a test image with good clarity, saturated colors, and take a couple of movies. Since our source is 1080p Blu-ray in most cases, the raw clarity of the video is not great, for many of the reasons I've talked about before. The first video is a test one, this is our favorite fragment already, the street. It makes no sense to apply the nearest neighbor here. Let's see, I cut a piece of the different methods at once to see them at once. Bilinear creates a soapy image, without additional sharpening filters such an image is not good for viewing. The second algorithm is cubic with an impact factor of 60. It gives a good visible result. Then a cubic 75 and 100 with anti-aliasing slightly increase visual clarity. Then Lanxos, not much of an advantage in clarity over cubic 100, but it removes aliasing defects better than cubic with anti-aliasing. Then Super XBR, gives a little more clarity especially on letters and sharp transitions between dark and light. Next is the NGU standard which gives a sharper image compared to the cubic or even XBR algorithm. Note the leaves in the white pot, the detail is impressive. And the last algorithm is NGU Sharp with maximum quality very high, pay attention to the restaurant menu, if on the cubic algorithm it is just a white incomprehensible inscription, with NGU Sharp you can already try to read the characters. Let's compare with what gives Shield TV. The algorithm Enchanced is about the same by cubic 100 with anti-aliasing filter, perhaps it is used in media players. Overall not bad. But NVIDIA AI surprised me, I think before it gave me less oversharped picture. But compared to NGU Sharp, NVIDIA AI Low gives a sharper image. But it looks worse, oversharp and its defects are striking. Here, Madver wins with NGU Sharp. The image is better rendered in my opinion and there is no oversharp. But, this is a test clear original image. There are a lot of sharp transitions between details, it is actually a photo taken on a DSLR camera and video was made of it. So initially, there is no noise. No blur, very accurate and clear colors. But you and I want to understand what happens on regular Blu-ray movies. So let's look at the actual movies. Let's see how the upscaling algorithms behave on these video files. The first fragment is from the movie Three Idiots. By the way a very good Indian film, I advise you to watch it. Look, here is a fairly detailed image, a lot of color, a lot of details, but NGU does not give such a strong advantage over the cubic method, but in general the decorations are clearer, and all because the video does not have sharp transitions on the edges of objects. Where did the word movie come from? It is moving pictures, if we start to spin almost any movie frame by frame, you will be surprised, but clear frames will be few, mostly blurry especially if this movie is dynamic. So here are systems which are trying more sophisticated and smart algorithms to improve the image is not enough original information. If the frame is blurry, there are no borders at the objects, no borders, you can't figure out where to apply sharpening and so on. And now I will show you what we actually see when watching movies, look I will rotate frames frame by frame with NGU sharp and cubic turned on. You see, there are few sharp frames, most of them are blurred, of course smart upscaling of both NGU and NVIDIA just can't improve anything on such frames. There is no source information to process. To upscale in a smart way, you need object boundaries, and there aren't any, it's just a mess of pixels. 
That is why only the usual pixel interpolation math works here. Because of the very principle of ABC codec compression, there is blockiness from coding on fast movements. And this is where smart algorithms usually start to fail, trying to raise the clarity of these coding defects and creating false images and thus spoiling the image. In this scene, you can see the difference between the smart algorithm and the cubic algorithm in the patterns of her clothes, and also in the paneling of the car seat, look closely. Now let me show you the magic of optical deception, look, I add to the upscale with a cubic algorithm, a little noise, small, as if it were a grain of film. And voila, now this image, looks sharper than the one made with NGU Sharp, and if the NGU works, somewhere better, somewhere worse, the added noise, will work fine everywhere. It enhances the clarity even on the face. That's the kind of interesting thing. I could even do this effect with the bilinear algorithm, but it would still be desirable to go through a bit with the sharpening filter. What about Shield TV and its smart algorithm? The Shield TV enhanced algorithm will not be considered, it is equal in quality to the Lengso's algorithm from MadVR. NVIDIA's smart algorithm in low mode compared to NGU sharp. As you can see AI low makes a stronger over sharp, but here the frame is static, I purposely chose to clearly trace the image. At the same time if you compare AI low with improved or mad relaxos, you will see that there is a difference in some elements. It is her clothes, ornaments look clearer due to more sharpness, also the difference in some elements of the car is visible. At the same time it should be taken into account, NVIDIA AI low on low quality source gives artifacts, I showed it in my video dedicated to NVIDIA smart upscale. NGU due to much less over sharpening behaves more adequately, but the worse the video source is, the more artifacts will be there, the difference between smart upscale and regular upscale is only visible on certain frames. But we are watching a movie, so I will show Shield TV capture and NGU sharp image capture, as well as the Shield TV enhanced version. We will switch and compare the two on real moving video. Now let's look at the example of Saving Private Ryan, it's a noisy movie, but it has one notable feature, it was shot at an increased shutter speed, if normally movies are shot at 1 48th, then this movie, at least the explosion scenes, are at 1 1 92 shutter speed, and the other shots at January 96. In this film the shots are sharper, a bit less action is smeared. Hearing to algorithm has room to run wild. But the truth is the image quality is not very good and the grain of the film stands out strongly. So let's see how the algorithms will behave here. Let's see. If you compare on video, NGU Sharp gives a small effect compared to conventional algorithms like Cubic or Lanxos. At the same time, if you watch frame by frame, NGU gives small defects due to the presence of grain in the frame. But in general it is not striking. The Shield TV Smart Up Scale, on the other hand, looks terrible, because of the high noise in the frame and the use of increased sharpening. NGU overall looks good compared to NVIDIA AI Low and gives no defects.
On static frames if we compare, NGU Sharp makes the grass clearer. And Shield TV makes it too clear with a strong oversharp. Well, and one more fragment for the test, this is a modern movie Ant-Man. It is a clear video without noise, shot on a digital camera, a lot of computer graphics. Let's compare first the screenshots of two smart algorithms and one regular one. You can see that on a static image, the smart algorithms give the effect, AI low makes the image even sharper than NGU sharp. But the difference has to be looked out for. Now let's move on to the video test, there is a difference, NVIDIA AI algorithm looks sharper. NGU and normal mode are not much different, but if you look closely at certain details, you can see the difference. What conclusions can be drawn? Mad VR with the NGU algorithm can give additional image quality. But it all rests on the capabilities of human vision and the logic of image processing by the brain. To interpolate color when watching 4K source video, it actually makes no sense to put more than bilinear algorithm. Also, as in media players, using bilinear is enough, because for our eyesight the clarity of color is 10 times less noticeable than the clarity of the brightness channel, due to the structure of our vision. Regarding upscaling to 4K. Here is the conclusion, using NGU algorithm for upscaling will give you the effect of improvement, but at the cost of increased resources by about three times. While the usual Lanxos, the analog of which media players apparently use, works quite adequately and makes the image quite sharp. Remember that in movies there is no excessive clarity. At the same time using more powerful algorithms for color interpolation than bilinear is justified if you watch 1080p source, because with upscaling to 4K it already makes sense to use more accurate algorithms to restore color. But the effect is small, you have to look out for it on red saturated objects. For the rest of the image, the bilinear color interpolation algorithm is more than enough. Using MAD VR NGU on a small TV, or when the TV is far away makes no sense, you will not see differences from the usual Lanxos or cubic method. Using NGU Sharp will produce results on larger diagonals, especially on projectors, where the really extra clarity can bring a visually more pleasing image to the eye. You should understand that all upscaling algorithms do not actually increase the actual resolution of the original video. Because it is impossible. Upscale algorithms, even clever ones, simply do a more accurate calculation of new points from the original, applying object recognition to the screen and further increasing the clarity in several ways. There are two concepts that add up to describe perceived sharpness or detail. Sharpness actually consists of two components, clarity and resolution. Clarity can be enhanced by algorithms by improving microcontrast, by changing the degree of blurring of borders, we enhance the contours of objects by actually changing the contrast at the edge of pixels. This makes them seem clearer and sharper to us. But the resolution, in fact, does not change, as 1080 lines were distinguishable there. So they will remain at the upscale, the example with adding noise, which I showed, is another way, in fact it is dithering. Visual noise or film grain is usually bad for the image, but a small amount of noise can actually increase the sense of sharpness. This is because the added noise is very fine, actually the size of a 4K pixel, and has very high clarity because the noise is not the original 1080p resolution as the source, but 4K resolution. It is because of the fine noise that the eye clings to the clarity of that noise. And to it visually the whole image will look better. And lastly, as I showed you, cinema is not a static picture, it's usually a fairly unsharp image with film noise. So here, even the smartest algorithms that give an incredible upscale effect on a static quality picture, on blurry film frames, can't give any effect compared to primitive mathematical upscaling algorithms. So in my opinion Mad VR with its NGU will give you the effect, but don't expect much difference from the standard algorithm like Langso's. You will see it only on the big screen and only for static movie scenes, when there is no movement in the frame. So media player owners can safely pass over MAD VR.
Your Apple TV, Fire TV or Nvidia Shield TV players give enough image quality using the usual upscaling algorithms. And don't forget that probably 60% of movies are still made with upscaling from 1080p sources. So maybe our eyes are fine with that on our screens. But of course you decide which is better, that's just my point of view. That's probably all, subscribe, write a comment, thanks for watching, bye.